guys and girls, I've had enough. I've had enough of people using the mechs and taking me out in the end game. Taking me out at the beginning of the game and taking me out in the middle of the game. Why are these mechs not being nerfed? Why are they still in the game, to be honest with you? Today, we're not only going to be taking a look at why Fortnite haven't done anything to the mechs yet, but also giving you guys some great solutions to take them out yourself and ultimately eradicate them from the maps that they're no longer dealing you and me harm and taking us out whilst we're playing Fortnite. If you want Fortnite to do something about the mechs, let them know this is your video to show it. Hit that like button and send them a message that we don't want these mechs in the state that they're currently in in Fortnite, they need to be addressed. Literally in yesterday's video, your boy's using loot from only Dusty for a challenge and the guy's in the mech. Two people, in fact, in mechs. In the top four situation, how are you meant to compete with that? They've ruined my games, I'm sure they've ruined your games, but if we actually take a look at the history of things that have been ridiculously overpowered in Fortnite, there's something a little bit weird going on. They were all adjusted and changed and, and some of them even just taken out of the game really quickly, but these mechs for some reason, even with the recent update this week, the first update of season 10, not a single patch note addressing them, no changes at all. According to Fortnite, they're absolutely fine, but why are they thinking this? What is going on? If you are new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go and hit that button down there whilst you hit that like button to let them know that you want the mechs changed. And I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on with these mechs and hopefully we'll see some changes soon. Now, in the past, we've had very overpowered things. The first that comes to mind is obviously the Infinity Blade, but there's also been several other vehicles very similar to the mechs. We had the Stormwing, as I'm sure you guys remember, in Season 7. You could literally just stay in a plane the whole map and was basically really good at just running away and hiding from people up in the sky. However, one patch after the planes were added, in they changed it a lot if you shot them down the person in the plane would take damage directly to their health even if they had shield the plane if it rammed into anything would take a lot more damage to the plane itself essentially they adjusted it and they made it a little bit worse at least literally within one week and it was ultimately taken out of the game the next season the baller for those of you guys that don't remember the baller used to have 300 health if you went around trying to shoot it especially end game you were peeking your head out you're probably going to get sniped you're going to get shot so as a result there were just balls around everywhere and it was absolutely ridiculous fortnite quickly adjusted the health from 300 to 200 and then ultimately it dropped all the way down to 150 but with recent season 10 it was just taken out of the game completely as it was not only a very fast way of getting around the map but basically a whole extra layer of shield on top of your own character. But whatever you thought of the Stormwing or the Baller, Fortnite ultimately addressed it and changed it very quickly. Now the Infinity Blade, arguably the most overpowered and the most hated thing ever added into Fortnite. I'm not talking about the mech so far. The Infinity Blade was added on December the 12th, 2018, giving you 200 health, 200 shield, and the ability to swing that sword around, jump up in the air and smash down with it. I actually wasn't even that good with it, and yet it was kind of annoying but it wasn't that bad we're looking back on it compared to things that we've had however three days after adding it in fortnite dropped this tweet that you can see here holding their hands up apologizing and completely removing it from the game now i've been told by a few people that actually the infinity blade was meant to have a really deep link with the storyline for season seven and as a result of them taking it out of the game, they had to completely restructure and change the storyline, which is a big deal within seasons because it's always leading up to a live event. Basically, them removing the sword was a big decision, a big change, but they did it because the community was so against it. And they reacted really, really fast. Now, the fastest I've ever seen them react to anything was, in fact, the very first time they added in the Infinity Gauntlet, which was the ability for you to turn to Thanos last year when they first added in that LTM. Thanos basically had a load of shield, a load of health, and the shield would always be replenished. But then, literally like a few hours after the game mode had been live, they actually changed the health and shield and dropped it all down a little bit so it wasn't as strong. They were so fast at adjusting it, so fast at making changes, and if they go and remove something like the Infinity Blade, which was going to be part of a storyline, 
Why is the mech not seen any changes at all? Now, I want to say that actually the mech is linked in with this storyline as well for season 10. I've talked about it in a few videos so far. The little symbol on the mech actually matches up with these skins you can get that are the mech drivers. It seems as though all of these characters have come from the same place as a meteor as the mechs actually fly onto the map alongside the meteor themselves and are all to be trying to hunt down the visitor skin, which is the secret skin that was available all the way back in season four. He's back now again in season 10, having escaped his pod inside the meteor. So it is linked in with the storyline. But ultimately, keeping the robots on the map doesn't seem like the biggest deal in the world. And hey, if you want to keep them on the map and you want to have them in the game, at least nerf them a little bit. For example, the robot can actually shoot 10 rockets when fully charged up, dealing 50 damage to an opposition, meaning a total of 500 damage. Meaning that if everyone is in a big group, I mean, you could knock out ridiculous numbers of people. But the bigger issue here being that if you try and build against it, because all the rockets come bombarding in, it just breaks your builds and takes you out. You know what I mean? It ain't fun. They could easily reduce the damage of these rockets, reduce the number of rockets. They could even slow down the mechs. They could make it so that it doesn't boost and jump as far and as fast and as quickly as it does. And when you're actually in the attacking seat on top of the mech, you can put an overshield on top of you, giving you even more protection. They could just remove that ability. Let it be easier to shoot the people that's either driving or shooting all the rockets so they can't just sit there, encompassed in this most overpowered, ridiculous vehicle that, in my opinion, is worse and more annoying than anything else that they've added in because there's multiple of them on the map. And because they've removed all of the movement items this season, you can't even get away from it, even if you want to. Whew. Okay, that's me ranting. Now, I am I'm positive they have to, surely, especially with the response this video I'm sure is going to get, make changes or do something to the mech. Hopefully next patch, maybe even just a hot fix. I'll keep you guys updated and we'll see what they end up doing. Now with mechs currently still being rampant and no changes haven't been made thus far, I've got five awesome tips to help counter these mechs, get them out of the game, help you guys not be killed by them at any point. And we're going to jump straight into it. I hope you guys find this useful. Let's go. Guys, tip number one, you've got to activate as soon as you're in the battle bus. See the robots on the map? Number one. Number two. Sometimes three can spawn straight away. You see all of these guys? They want the robot. You ain't going to get it, buddy. Because you see this thing? Yep. That's right. It's gone. So tip number one, make sure you land on a robot as soon as the game starts. Get it out of there so no one else can use it. Tip number two, you've got to be doing throughout the game. Beginning, middle and end as the robots constantly spawn in. So I've activated tip number one. I've got myself one robot. But if you look at the map, the other one's gone. Luckily, as I was flying in, I marked the other one on the map. I can either completely avoid that area or I can be a little bit adventurous. Rather than blowing up my robot off spawn, I can hunt the other one down and take him out. And here they come. Next ring, even more robots to keep an eye on. If you're playing in duos or squads, get the rest of your team to mark them down on the map so you don't forget where they are. Oh, one literally just got taken. But at least I know where it was. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Got one robot. We got another robot. <gasps> Yo, this guy was going for it. Look at him. Don't let him get inside. This guy wanted the robot. We must teach him a lesson. No robot for you, buddy. And number three is an obvious one. Once you get inside it or if you see an empty robot, don't bother wasting your bullets on it. Just jump on in and self-destruct it to get rid of it instantly. Goodbye. Oh, this guy's got exactly what I wanted. These guys right here, the infamous boogie bombs. Now, this is probably one of the best tips out of all five of them. Unfortunately, one of the hardest to implement. But these things instantly chuck anyone out of the robot and forces them to dance if they're in it. It is so, so good. And honestly, if you find them, I'd say always keep them on you if you can, especially for late game if people are trying to abuse the mechs. All right, time to activate boogie bomb mode. See where he goes to. Oh, I missed. I missed. Okay, it's fine, fine, fine. I was two people. There were two of them in it. They're literally teaming. This is what we're trying to stop. 
This here, there's a guy in the robot and the guy outside the robot, they're literally looting together. It's literally enabling teaming Fortnite. What are you doing? The final tip was going to be to essentially just steal robots. It works best in solos. You can see me doing it here in yesterday's video. If someone is coming at you and you get close enough to them, just jump at it. Just quickly spam enter and you can get in, self-destruct it and force both of you out of it. Obviously, if you're playing duo squads and there's two people in there, that doesn't always work. But as you've literally just seen there, even with boogie bombs, even in solos, even when you think you're prepared for a mech, you can get screwed over by what is essentially an overpowered, ridiculously strong, teeming robot in the world of Fortnite. It's ridiculous. If you want to see the full video of me using only loot from Dusty, you can see that on screen here. It was an amazingly fun challenge. Go and check it out. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe here to the channel. Let's see how many likes this video is going to get. Let's see how much support it's going to get to nerf the mech. Will Fortnite list? And hopefully they will, guys. I'll see you soon where hopefully the mech isn't quite as good as it is right now.